Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode in our F1 Manager 96 career mode. Up to episode 95, and it's the second of back-to-back -back home races for us. From the team's home in Britain, we now head to the engine supplier's home in Germany, and the Hockenheim ring. So as you can see, we've got a handful of days before we are ready to go. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into the car setup. And I think we will... So this is what we're running with. We're running with our one step softer suspension. We're running five and I think we'll go three. Five and two is what we used last year. But I think we'll go five and three for this year. One more click on that. One stop, of course on the hardest compound tires. Championship battle is well and truly on, as you can see. We closed down a good chunk of points on Benetton last time out, nine, and the gap is only 13 points now. So hopefully we can have another good day in Germany and close the gap further. And Constructors' Championship, again, we had a really good day because Michael did not finish. So the gap between Frensen and Villeneuve closed down, but also the gap from Villeneuve to Schumacher extended. So it was six points between the three of us. It is now nine. So there you go, and Smith has got his mojo back. He's taken back-to-back -back poles. Frentzen with the fastest lap at the British Grand Prix. So let's continue on to Hockenheim, shall we? Where in real life, if this track was back to this type of style instead of the Hockenheim ring that we have currently, McLaren might be able to challenge for another win based on how they did in Monza. This was a speed bowl as well. 45 lap race, one lap more than Belgium. So we'll stop on lap 22 and 23. You know what? We'll swap these around. I think last time we did Frentzen went from compound one to two and Smith went from two to one, so we'll swap those guys around this time. Put them on that one though. We need this engine. We may only do one run in practice just to save the engine a little bit. We will check that. Soft compound. Fuel wise. I think we used about 20 last time from memory. I could be wrong, but I think we were around that ballpark. So, what do we got in the rule book here? 30 minutes before the race begins, cars leave the pits to line up for the start. Pit lane will be closed after 15 minutes. All cars still there will have to start from the pit lane. Three minutes before the start, starting area will be cleared, engines will be fired. 30 seconds before the start, green flag will be shown. And the warm-up lap will finish, or start, sorry. Once the cars are in position, countdown will begin. One by one, the five lights will be illuminated and then switched off together. Red flag, race stopped, blue. And blue and white is for lapped cars. The mechanical issues, cars, disqualified, unsporting behavior, slow vehicle on track, yellow flag, yellow and red, yeah, race distance, the, should say, except for Monaco, because that's always a shorter race, but anyway, I'm just messing around until the music is finished, basically, which I think it's close, so I'll be able to do that, I feel, yeah, it's pretty close, probably around... I don't know, 
15 seconds or so maybe but that's all right we can continue on so i think our finances look, are looking real good as well everything is looking rosy in the team so we don't really have to worry about anything i don't think other than fixing up well not fixing up but we'll be able to do that probably for the next year if we decide to with our engineering team being five star we should be able to build five star parts so that's the only next step really that we will have for next year but yeah uh, as i said we'll be stopping this series after this season so or at least putting it on the back burner anyway and i will figure out what to play next so we'll do our track guide so i'll mute the mic and we'll be right back So there's a lap of the old Hockenheim ring. Pretty simple track in terms of the layout. The trick with it was finding the braking points because of course if you miss it by half a second you're gonna be flown through the chicanes and if you miss it, or not miss it, if you are too early on the brakes then the guy behind you is just gonna have a field day and go straight past you. So let's carry on to our warm-up session. Villeneuve and Verstappen, sorry Verstappen and Villeneuve top the charts in the warm-up. Salo, Schumacher, Barrichello round out the top five so we'll see what we can do here. Pretty confident that this setup should work okay. So we'll see how this goes. We'll send out our reigning champ first. And then we send out Smith and we'll see what we can do. We should be able to get into the sub 150s, I think. We might be able to get into the 48s, I don't know. Uh, we are currently 5th and 7th, that's not bad. Well, Smith's in the 49, so we can definitely get into the 49s. 48s is probably on the cards. Yeah, Frenson seemed to struggle a little bit there, huh? He's, I guess he's only a couple tenths off. So what is Salo on? Yeah, so we should be in the 48s, I feel. So you know what? I'm not going to go out again. 21 litres of fuel should be perfectly acceptable for that one. So Frentzen will be on 23. Smith needs a little bit more because he's on super aggressive. We'll put the slightly harder compound tire on, the C compound, and then we might go out later on with the D compound, softest of the four. All right, let's go to Quali, see what we can do. We'll send out Smith first. Speed this up a bit. 17 minutes, yeah, that should be fine. Alright, let's see what we can do, boys. Hopefully we can 
Get another pole, that'd be nice. Smith, second fastest. Uh, Franson P6 behind Villeneuve. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit. Needs to find a bit of time, does Heinz Harold. Yeah, he hasn't been able to match it. He's a second off. Coulthard did a 48-4. Wow. That's highly impressive. So we're not going to do any... Should we? You know what? We will. We'll crank it a tiny bit on the suspension. Oh. Schumacher goes a bit quicker. So we're still third and sixth. So let's see what we can do here. Send out Smith first again. And we'll finish off with Franson. See if we can get some slightly better performance on the softer compound tire. 48.99, not really. Yeah, so far they're not being able to find any time, are they? Nope. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Third and sixth it is. Oh, by one hundredth of a second we're off the front row. That's alright. We will see what we can do here. So we were 21. We know that. So if we're 21. Then that means that's 12. And that is... 24. So if we want 20, we need to take off. Seven. Sorry, 14. So we are back to that. That gets us 24 liters of fuel. Sorry, 44 liters of fuel. 44 laps of fuel. Can't words. So, 85 and 75 should be perfectly acceptable, I feel. So they didn't really like that, so I'm going to go back on the suspension and do that. Should we go 5 and 2 and use the exact same thing as what we did last year? I guess we can. We'll do that. Alright, let's get started. Hopefully we can do what we did last year. We on the right tire. Two to one, one to two. Yes, we are. All right, let's see what we can do, eh? Mondamini flies off the road from P9. Not good for him. Verstappen is out. That's good for us because that's a Benetton off the road. Schumacher must have stopped. Yes, he did. Stopped it a little early, I think. Did Michael? Oh, Shumi's gotten around Smith already. Five seconds behind Heinz. I don't mind if Michael wins this race, as long as we can beat Jack. Smith is ready as well. So far, it's not been a bad race for us. We are currently second and fourth. Frenson is in for his one and only stop. Should be 12 and a half seconds or thereabouts, probably. 
Yeah, 12.29, not too bad. Uh, all right, so where does he come out? Looks like he might be around Salo. Should be in front of Mika Salo. All right, in comes Albert for his stop as well. Should have 80 laps of, 80 laps, 80 liters of fuel in. Yep, there he goes. Should be about the same time, 12.1. So 10th and a half quicker. Yeah, he's going to be pretty close to Mikasalo, I think. He might just be in front of him. No, he's right on him. Okay, that's fine. If you can keep with Salo, then that is somebody... I mean, Mikasalo's in a pretty quick car, so... Villeneuve stopped, I see. Schumacher now leads. Got a three second gap on Jacques. Yeah, Solo's dropped back to P7 now, trying to chase down David Coulthard. I think Michael might have stopped again. He did. I guess now we'll see if Michael can close that gap down. Probably not though. 11 laps to go. And he needs a second to lap. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to get him. But that's not a Benetton. So we would gain points on Benetton as it stands. one point but we would gain a point so yeah it looks like Villeneuve's going to extend his lead over us by another six points but that's okay that's all right we closed the gap a tiny bit on Benetton check that we close a huge amount on Benetton As Michael blows up with three laps to go, Villeneuve is going to get another win. Frentzen gets second, Smith third, and Lemieux fourth for Williams. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to say I'm reasonably happy with that. We showed pretty strong pace. Given this is one of our weaker tracks, I think that's a pretty good day. Both Benetton's retired. That's huge for the Constructors Championship and the drivers. Michael may be out of it now because Villeneuve extends his gap over Michael. It was nine points. It's now a 19. So the music has stopped. So let me mute that and we will do our cutscene. Yeah, so we lose ground on Williams, of course, but we gain ground on Benetton, so that's not too bad. As you can see, the gap is now six points and 19 over Michael. Constructors, oh, there you go, Benetton pull out even more. Sorry, no, Williams overhaul them. And if you remember, at this, just before the British Grand Prix, the gap was 22 points. 24 points. Sorry, I take that back. 24 points. 
and we have trimmed that in two races down to eight. Good job, boys. Good job. Beautiful. All right, so I'm very happy with that. Smith is probably going to be able to get Lemieux, I think. And then it's a question of whether or not Frentzen can do anything. Hungary and Belgium should suit us. Italy would probably be a similar thing to Germany. And Portugal should suit us. So, I think it's possible. I think we can do this. I really think we can do this. What have we got, a week? Yeah, a week until Budapest, round 12. So I'm pretty pumped with that. I know it's not a dub, but it is a double podium. Our, one of our main rivals did not score any points at all. Unfortunately, it wasn't the one we would have preferred. We would have liked it if Villeneuve didn't score points, but hey, can't have everything. We'll repair that engine as well. Uh, is that everything for this one on the exterior? Sorry, the interior, yes it is. So Hungary, Hungary is probably gonna be what, 15 and 18 kind of day. And our high downforce under tray, of course. If we can find it, I think it's type one, isn't it? No, type one is our normal one, right? So it's number two, yeah. So we want that one. There we go. So we are getting ready for Hungary. Round 12. Be two thirds, sorry, three quarters of the way through the season. And that will definitely be a two stopper. There is no doubt about that one, I don't think. But we don't need eight sets of the wet tires. So that's what we would take, I feel. So what have we got on engines? How are we on that? We got these two. Yeah, this should be for Spa and Italy, I think. But we should be able to take these two for this one. We might be able to take it for Portugal, actually, as well. Um, yeah, but anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. So let's check our merchandise. Our cup and the shirt are not being sold, so we'll crank those up. Go back up here, what have we got? We have a cap, I see. Cap, keychain, and the car is there. That, that, and that. So we need that one as well. All right, so there we go. So everything is being sold again. So we're all caught up to date on our merchandise. And uh, yeah, so that is going to be the championship, as you can tell. Villeneuve extended his gap over us to from two points to six. Michael would have finished second in that race. So he would be on 52 points and we would be on 57. Fortune favored us and... He blew up with, what, three laps to go, four laps to go, or whatever it was, and we were able to get a double podium and close the gap down on Benetton. Indeed, because both, both Benettons failed to finish, Verstappen retired earlier on the race, Williams overhauled him, and now have a five-point lead going into the last part of the season. five races to go everything is still to play for Michael if he wants to retain retain regain his crown he's gonna have to hope that his car can make the distance because that's back-to-back -back retirements for the German and it's looking like it might just be a two-horse race in the drivers championship but we'll see we shall see the next two tracks should suit us pretty good but we'll find out i mean we thought we'd be pretty ordinary at monaco and we picked up a first and third 
we also got second and third here, so it's not the W we wanted, but I'll take it. I will take second and third on a track that we usually are pretty ordinary at any day of the week. So that is going to be it from me today. Thank you very much for watching everybody. The support on this series has been very good actually. I was expecting a, to be no interest at all to be brutally honest but it seems a lot of people have been interested and watching so hopefully you will continue to watch until the end of the season where we see if we can retain both crowns. Have a great day and I will catch you later.